Cloud services like Dropbox and Google Drive are great if you don't have a lot of data to store. But if you have a larger media library and you don't want to pay a monthly subscription for cloud storage, the best solution is to create your own cloud. At the high end, you can create your own 16 terabyte NAS server that functions a lot like Dropbox. But it's really geared more towards the business professional and it can get really pricey. So instead, I'll show you how to set up a basic cloud for yourself. It'll let you download, share, and manage files just like you would on any other branded cloud storage service. You can expect to pay anywhere from about $150 to $250 for this type of setup. To get started, the first thing I'll do is plug in the MyCloud directly into my router. Then use Western Digital software to set up the device. I'll create a user account, and finally, my cloud is basically set up. So now, any files and folders I want in my cloud, I just drag and drop into here. Once I've got all of my files in there, some photos, and a video, I'm ready to access them from any other device. So in this case, on my Windows computer, it's as easy as launching the browser and signing into WD's portal online. Since this is a Windows computer, I'll actually browse my cloud using an Explorer window. There's my video, double click, and I'm streaming it over the web. I can even drag and drop files from this computer directly onto my cloud. To top it all off, there's an easy way to access all of your files from your smartphone using WD's app. Just like any other cloud platform, I can use it to view and stream any files I have in my cloud. Plus, I can use the app to back up and share photos I've taken on my phone. My cloud is by far the easiest and cheapest way to set up your own cloud. But remember that since it is a single volume, there's no insurance if your drive fails. So use the USB input on the back to plug in an external hard drive and back up your cloud just to be safe.